Homemade podcast of sports with your host Jay Pops. Guys, I'm back. I'm back, baby. And I know you guys are sitting there wondering, looking all around like, man, is he really about to do a podcast about baseball? Well, guess what? Yes, I am. Guys, I'm back. I'm back. Um, Trust me. I know baseball, people. When I tell you I know all sports, just know all sports. I may not know all of the traditions that are within baseball, but I do know what's all what. I know what's the RBI, run bad in. I know what's HR, of course, home run. All right? And things like that. Guys, I do know what's going on. So with that being said, I told you guys that I wasn't going to make a baseball podcast like that until I just fully watch the team, learn the team, know where we're going, and things of that nature. Now we're here, baby. Super Regional Bound. I wanted to make something on yesterday, an instant reaction podcast, but I say, no, I'm going to leave that up to text ags and other personnel and stuff like that. So I went and done a little research. I done a little bit of digging. So now we all know who we will be facing. We'll be facing Louisville, okay? Um, Louisville just won their regional. Shout out to the Louisville Cardinals. Um, they won against Michigan by a score of what was it? I think twelve to seven or nine to seven. One of them. So we have them. They they will now come to College Station and we will host those guys. Uh, I believe Virginia Tech is coming to College Station. If I was looking at it, looking at that updated bracket correctly. Um, and I'm a I'm going to try to go on here and see who all will be in our actual bracket. But I do know, you know, for the ones that did not know, we will be facing Louis. Okay. Um, that was the team that we expected to face anyways. Uh, and Louisville is a pretty good baseball team. All right. So on the same day when a and was out there playing TCU, which was on yesterday. Good God, that game. That game last, lasted for so long, man. That thing went all the way to 12.30 midnight. Uh, but in the end, we prevailed. We won. I was into it. My wife ended up falling asleep. Yes, guys, my wife is into baseball. She ended up falling asleep on it. But to say the least, man, <clears throat> if you guys did not know by now, you guys need to know this. This Aggie baseball team here under Jim Schwarzenegger, that team is so for real about what they're doing and where they want to go. They bring so much energy into the stadium. They take so much energy out of the fans that are there for the other teams. I will say this, man. TCU had a lot of us sitting back like, ooh, I don't know. But at the same time, me and my wife looked at each other and we talked. And we say, man, we've been watching them for too many games now. And then wakes up around the sixth inning and just go crazy on people. You hear what I'm saying to you? They just wake up from out of nowhere and they just go crazy and they start dropping a lot of points. They start to looking like the number one offense in the SEC. Last night, TCU got a taste of what that number one offense looks like inside of the SEC. Although this here, Jim coached TCU. He knew that team from front to back. All right. Uh, did that play an advantage? Yes, they did play an advantage. Um, did that help a and ultimately pull out the win? Yes. Only thing I can say that Jim wasn't prepared for was how the way a and went on that electric run. They dropped seven total runs in one inning. No, 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 no. I don't think you guys are hearing me correct. a and dropped seven total runs in one inning. I mean, just went crazy in the eighth inning. Even the guys that were announcing the game looked and said, man, it has been a whole hour and we're still in the eighth inning. That's long. TCU dropped a couple of points, had a scared a little bit. And AM and them looked at each other and said, you know what? I think we're going to drop some points too. What a and them does is reaches into your chest. If you're the opposing team, they reach into your chest, take everything that you got, and pull it all out, and say, all right, it's our turn. I love this Aggie baseball team. 
I'm not going to sit up here and say, oh, I've been watching AM for years. That is a lot. I just started watching AM specifically this year. Okay? I watched it because a lot of you guys came on here and said, Jay, man, you got to start doing something for all sports. I told you I was going to come back. I watched it. I watched it. All I can say is this here, man. I love that Aggie team. That Aggie team there. That's a team that we have not seen in probably a long time. And that's a team that I hadn't heard from in a long time. I went and I've done some digging. Like I said, I've done my research, stuff like that. I seen the last time we went to the College World Series. I seen that we do not have a College World Series uh, championship, you know, which is a national championship. I see that we don't have that. I think Jim is about to come change all of that around. He's about to come and change that. Understand that this is Jim's first year. This isn't even much the team that he recruited. He built this team from scratch and put a lot of transfer players with the with the players that were already there. You know, uh, the players that were already there, all they're doing is just sitting back and learning, learning, learning. I give so much credit to those guys just sticking it out with AM and and saying, no, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay right here. And I believe they stayed right there because of the hire that was made. I went and looked at TCU. TCU had been dominating the Big 12 with Jim Sloss. I think they got like first, I don't know how many years straight. Didn't know that. Once again, was not a college baseball fan. You can best believe the doors have opened up now. I'm in there. I'm all with it, baby. I'm college baseball a lot. Anytime baseball is on. Uh, of course, football season has the end. Basketball season has the end. And I'm on. I'm on the road. I'm there, man. I'm, I'm all for it. Like I said, man, I love this baseball team. Now I'm looking. I looked at something on Twitter. Pringles even gave a shout-out to the Aggie baseball team. This is how serious we are right now. Even the, the, the Pringles, people. Pringles. The chips that I love. Pringles even gave a shout-out. So... Man, it's on and rocking right now in College Station. All right, uh, Blue Bell Park, I promise you, Blue Bell Park will get a renovation. All right, so let's talk about this game. I've gotten into it long enough. Man, let's talk about this game. So what was all done in this game? TCU was up 3 nothing. Um, If I'm not mistaken, let me go here. Because that was in the, can't remember, uh, what inning TCU was up, but they were up like three nut in that inning alone. Oh, you know what? Got it right here. I don't know where I'm going to. But TCU was up three nothing going into the fifth inning. All right, we got all the way to the sixth inning when A and M start to gradually wake up. Once again, man, I told y'all what this was. A and M started to gradually wake up in that uh in that sixth inning. Mark my words, I sit up there and I looked at my wife and I said this, man. I say that, ooh, I feel, I feel a run coming. And a run came. Aggie scored two, score was two, three. All right, going into the seven inning. Seven inning, Aggies completely went up. Five innings, I mean, uh, five runs. Five runs scored. The ball game was now seven to three. CCU woke up. Understand this about our pitching. This this the only knock on this team, and everybody around the world knows this. Up. Our defense, I think, is close to being last in the SEC, period. I don't know what our defense is nationally. You know, I'm not going to haul off stats here, but I do know that we're close to, like, the last team in the SEC so far as total defense. I'm talking about total defense. So far as defensive rankings are concerned. Offense, man, when we get on the road, we cannot be stopped, okay? I'm going to say this once again. When we get on the road, we cannot be stopped. That offense got on so much of a road in that seven inning alone, and I knew once they done that, that was the start of something that was about to take the game over. So we scored five runs, scored was 7-3. TCU scored four. Score was tied at that point going into the eighth inning. We went into the eighth inning, and them scored again. One more run. TCU scored again with two more runs in that same inning. The score was then 
TCU. This is the inning to where it changed the entire complexity of the game all the way around. That ninth inning. The last inning when you had to find that last breath and then went on a rampage. I knew the minute that TCU got up there and told their pitcher, hey, man, you're going to have to come on out of here. I knew that that was game over. I don't know why I felt that way. I knew that was game over. That was game over. And I knew at that point, whatever pitcher that came up, and then was going to answer each and every pitch being thrown. That inning, they went seven straight. Just blah, blah. I believe at that time, we went, we went for so many runs in that ninth inning to where I know for sure the coach specifically looked over the, at the guys that were hitting that were hitting the runs and was like, hey man, we gotta chill. These folks gotta go home. I know we wanna get up by a large margin. Give them what you gotta give them. Let them get that out. Let our pitchers go out there. We got more confidence in them now. I, I don't wanna say we were in a comfortable lead because it, it's, it's TCU now. But we were in a lead to where I knew that the ball game had been won, man. And that was specifically it. It was nobody else coming back in that ball game. If TCU would have would have came back in that ball game, that would have solidified everything that I need to know about AM, where we are right now, and AM going forward. What I solidified is that AM going forward in the super regional, we're gonna only get better. We're going to only get better, man. This is a game changer for all of AM sports. I'm gonna tell you where it all started at. It didn't start in football, so you're not about to hear me say that. We're talking about this year specifically. This year specifically, the game changer started in tennis. Tennis went up on an unbelievable run this year. Shout out to that tennis team. I wish I could talk more about you, okay? I will eventually start talking more about you guys, just like I talk about track and field. The game changer in Aggie sports was tennis. Tennis went on an unbelievable run. Uh, they just could not bring a national title home. That solidified everything we need to know for next year going forward. The men's and women golf team went on an unbelievable run. They both could not bring home a national title. That's okay. This, and see, these, these are the things that I hear a lot of people say about AM is that, oh, y'all ain't done nothing. We've done something. We just, we just haven't won a national title in any sports yet, specifically, okay? Golf team got on the run. After that, Esquarian really was the one that's, that was dominant this year. Our Esquarian team is really the one that sparked the fire and it translated into all of a and sports down the line. So that Esquarian team that people don't like to talk about really like that, they, they started a dominant run and they did get to the national title game. They just didn't win it. Okay, I'm gonna say that once again. They got to the national title game, they just didn't win it. That's okay. I think I believe they played against Baylor, if I'm not mistaken. They just didn't win it. All right. They could it was either Baylor or somebody else they lost to in the national title game. We didn't win it, but we got there. That was the spark of something that was waking up with this Aggie Sports. Aggie Sports is here to stay especially in the sec i know it's here to stay when i'm hearing a lot of diehard texas fans looking at that aggie baseball team and saying man i'm not gonna lie i'm impressed i'm glad to hear no i'm glad to see that y'all are up because i can talk to my aggie baseball friends and we actually got something to talk about what so now we're going to do a little digging like i said so when was the last time a and made a College World Series appearance? All right, and there's a lot of you guys that need to know this, okay? We're gonna talk about the last time here we made an appearance. The last time that we made a College World Series appearance was 2017. And that was with, uh, that was with Josh Childress, I believe that was his uh, name. The latest, uh, the last uh, a and baseball coach before uh, Jim. That was when we made that final run, but after that, it was a decline, decline, decline. Children's had already run his course. 
Uh, and that's the reason why we parted ways with him. I believe that was a very mutual agreement in which it is what it is. Jim is here. Man, mark my words about this. I believe a and made College World Series teams this year. We have by far exceeded all expectations, just like a Text TNK runner. Um, we've exceeded all expectations. Uh, now he was saying baseball, football, and basketball. Football, not not so much. We haven't exceeded expectations there. Basketball, we haven't exceeded expectations there just yet. But baseball, most definitely. Because just like I said, man, I believe that we will see a and under Jim Schlossenegger in his first year get to the College World Series. Only reason why I say this is because Jim is used to being there. That ain't nothing new to him. He's used to being there. And I heard him last night in an interview. He said, man, I love all those kids over there. I love them to death. But I love winning more. He couldn't have been more real when he was talking than what I've ever heard. I've never heard a coach say that like that in that moment in that environment because he he looked at that sideline he knew he knew exactly who each and every kid was over there sitting down all right and it, and it and it hurt him to his heart that he had to play against him and he had to beat but just like he said and i respect him for that i love winning more he loves winning this aggie baseball team right now is winning this is what we're doing we're winning this is something that us Aggie fans will have to get used to because we're, we're going to have to get ready for a long run. This is something that the SEC will have to get used to. We're going to go for a long run. The domination in baseball in which is why we won the SEC West, by the way. This started when we went up to the LSU, in which was the first challenge. The first challenge was LSU, okay? And I'm going to probably go down the schedule in a minute. I want to say that second challenge a second challenge in particular and i'm going to mention these guys because texas is a six-time college world series champion i'll just mention them right there the second challenge the second challenge was texas i believe that when we went over there and we played texas texas fans had already knew what jim was going to come with they didn't know what exact they didn't know what necessarily a and m was going to come with they knew what jim was going to come with as the head coach but they didn't know what a and m was going to do we went over there and we beat them in their own backyard all right that was a stand-up moment. The one that got everybody's attention is when we beat Arkansas in a series. Me and my wife, once again, was looking at that game. In a moment, that home run hit that back of that wall. And that guy from Arkansas went up to try to make that play. And he fell down and he sat down. was when we knew that it was game over all right that was absolutely game over at that point we had done some man we got somewhere we're not going anywhere this hacky baseball team is here to stay baby it is here to stay so let's talk about some things here so like i say man let's let's just look at the history of the world series and let's look at AM. So, this is the reason to why we get so much grief. But at the same time, we are a respectable uh, baseball um, team, man. We Once again, we are a respectable baseball program. Put it like that. We haven't been dominant in baseball, but we are a respectable um, baseball team. Okay? So, we rank seven all time with most appearances with a college with no we ranked seventh with most appearances without a college world series championship the appearances that we have period and we're up there with some good ones so this is what we rank on the appearance scale so We, we rank 12. We rank 12 with by far the most appearances uh, in the College World Series. 
We just haven't won the title yet, man. We have not won the title. We went to the College World Series six times. Out of those six times we went, we've only won two games. All right? That's something that we're completely trying to get over the hump with. We're dead last. We are dead last at the bottom win percentage. And I'm not ashamed to say that. We're dead last at the bottom of win percentage with College World Series uh, appearances, man. We've appeared in the games. You know, I mean, uh, we, we, we've we appeared in the, you know, you know, the College World Series games. We just haven't won. We haven't won one. We have not got one. We're in the need of changing it. All right. We are we're way closer than probably what we should be this year alone. We're way close. The guys that we have on this team, man, these are in, these are future MLB stars. Okay. These are future MLB stars right now. So, as I look at it, and I'm just going to give you a couple of stats here. So, Trevor Warner, third baseman. Play, played a good game. Played a darn good game. Jack Moss, I'm sorry, man. I don't have to mention Jack Moss, do I? Jack Moss is going to be Jack Moss. That's... That's just how the way he plays. This is why Jack Moss is feared. Is he? He's one of the most feared baseball players around the country. He may not hit a lot of home runs, but he's going to make sure that somebody has an RBI. Okay? Well, he's going to make sure that he has an RBI. Jack Moss in this game had three RBIs. The next person to him that's been playing his butt off is Dylan Rock. Dylan Rock and Jack Moss are a combo together, man. When you know that these two may be up in the same batting lineup, going back and back with each other, you better get out the way. In this game alone, Dylan Rock had five RBIs. I'm going to say that once again. Dylan Rock had five RBIs. That is five runs batted in. That accounts for five total points in the single game right there. Of five total runs in the single game. Scores. Five scores. That there was... Mm, all I'm saying is this offense is ranked highly for a reason. They're ranked number five for a reason. They could have been higher... But in order to be ranked that high, you need a little bit more defense. And we know that. We know that. In order to get that top three and really top five, to be honest with you, we need that defense to step up just a little bit more. As of right now, right now, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm going to say it once again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, baby. Three and O oh in the regionals alone. We swept our entire regular regional. Now we're on to the super regional. If we sweep this super regional, I just told you once before, put my money on the table for a College World Series final game. I'm going to say it once again. Put my money on the table for College World Series final game if we sweep these super regions. Because Louisville would not be a punk. They're not going to come in here and lay down. If we lay down Louisville, that should let you know the money that Jack Sloss is getting because he's worth every bit of it. That should let you know also that part of this starting lineup may not come back next season. If they are coming back, they're coming back to get something that was owed to them. They're coming back to get another title. All right? So, like my guy said, you know, the pitching. Pitching is looking a little shaky. That's why I said our, our, our defense has to get a part. Pitching is a part of the defense. You got to get up par with that a little bit more. But also, man, we have to fix those. We got to fix those errors. Jack, I believe Jack Moss is on first base. Yeah, he's the first base. Uh, Jack Moss is on first base. The guys that makes these throws, you got to throw that ball better than that to Jack Moss, though. You have to because I'm seeing a lot of errors being made at the point of the first base contact. 
the reason why those errors are being made is because of how the way the ball is being thrown. You got to throw those balls better than that, baby. That's the reason why we're lacking on the defensive side a little bit. Pitching, okay, our pitching is, I will pitch in the slot, but when our pitching needs to show up, it shows up. It's sloppy for the most part. Yes, it is. We do have knocks on this team. We're not scared to mention that. But when they show up, they show up and they show up in a big way. All right, so let's go to our pitching. So total runs, uh, Chris Cortez and Joseph Menifee had about three total runs apiece put on them. Um, Ryan Prager, he had about run, one run put on him. And Brad Rudis, um, who came in and completely, uh, you know, shut the ball game down and didn't give any more points to TCU in the in the ninth inning. Shout out to that freshman, man. And if I'm not mistaken, he's a freshman. Yes, he is. Shout, shout out to that freshman. Uh, I believe Will Johnston, he's a freshman as well. Shout, shout out to all of those guys. Uh, they came in, they did what they had to do. In the game already. That's it, man. In the game. Shout out to him. Like I say, man, it was a lot of errors, though. Joseph Menifee had about three errors. Will Johnston, two. And Chris Cortez with one. Chris Cortez, by far, played a terrific game. He gave up three runs. I know that. But he played the hell of a ball game, man. He played a hell of a ball game. Um, shout out to him for going out there, doing what he had to do. All right. Um, and that was some pretty good things, man. That was some real good things. Uh, Austin Bose. Austin Bose is another one that guys can't sleep on, and they know this for sure. Austin Bose, man, he's going to come in there, and he, he's going to do what he has to do, and he's going to get on about the line. All right. Uh, Ryan Targout. Uh, he had one run batted in. Troy Clotch, run one, uh, one run batted in. Jordan Thompson, one run batted in. These are all guys, man, that, that are stellar. All right? These are all guys that are stellar. Jack Moss, of course, is one of the best hitters on this team, if not the best. I believe Dylan Rock is in front of him, but Dylan Rock, Dylan Rock and Jack Moss should be, like, right behind each other. And then it's Trevor Warner. Trevor Warner, he comes in, he's going to put it on the show, and then Austin Bowles and things like that, man. So, like I say, Super Regional is coming up. Uh, that is going to be a darn good matchup. Darn, darn good matchup. Um, we're just going to have to see where this thing goes, man. Um, I'm just like any other a &M fan, any other a &M diehard fan. Not a diehard baseball. Not yet. Scratch that. I am a diehard baseball fan. That's that. I ain't got everything up yet. As you can see, I'm all football. But the more I've done these shows, the more I got into them, the more I just got into the Aggie period, man, I'm just, I'm all over. I got to get some basketball stuff up here, in which we haven't won National Titan basketball yet. We're still looking for that. All right. Uh, yeah, we still, yes, yeah, we know. We're still looking for a Titan football. Uh, but please believe me, man. It's a great time to be an Aggie. All right. If you are an Aggie and you have took off all your Aggie gear, please, man, bring it back out. Especially baseball. This isn't it. We ain't done yet. All right. So Super Regional coming up. On Friday, uh, game one against Louisville. I do not know the times yet. Most likely, it'll probably be an 8 o'clock game. That game will not be on ESPN+. Plus. That should be on either SEC Network or ESPN, period. All right, so that should be a nationally televised game this going around. Uh, this go around. So, like I say, Louisville will be a good one. Um, shout out to everybody who joined the show. We will get this thing Rapping, rapping, rapping. It's like five o'clock, so I know that's probably why uh, it's not a whole lot of people viewing. That's okay. But we're going to do the best we can to get people to looking more and more at this Aggie baseball team, this Aggie baseball in general, okay? So I love all of you guys. Thank you for tuning in once again. Hashtag Giga Max.